Many of the drop-down lists in Jackrabbit can be customized specific to your organization. It's helpful to review your drop-down lists and customize them before adding families, classes, etc. Go to the gear icon, Settings, General, and select Drop-down lists. When your account was created, standard drop-down list values were added to several drop-down lists. The first drop-down list you should review is Category 1, as it is assigned to classes and is used to organize your enrollment and revenue reports. To add a new value to a drop-down list, click the Add Row button. Enter the list value in the first column. For certain drop-down lists, you can hide values from customers and users. This is helpful when a value is outdated. The Hide from Customers checkbox will hide the value from drop-down lists on your online registration form, class listings tables, and the parent portal. Keep in mind this will only hide the value in the list and not the classes that have been assigned the value. The Hide from Users checkbox is helpful when a value is no longer used for searches or reports. It removes it everywhere, but can be unchecked if needed. If you want to make changes later to any drop-down list value that you have used, add a new value. The data in your database is not updated to the new value, however. Only the list itself is changed. Remember to save changes when you're done. Look for our videos on Categories and Sessions, or refer to our Help Center for more information.